This segment is sponsored by Bill's Barbecue. Whether you are preparing for a sporting event, family get together, or just looking to spice up your next meal, fall is a great time to break out the grill. Bill yes. from Bill's Barbecue is joining us with a few tips. We are grilling. We are grilling We're this grilling morning. We're grilling bright and early as the sun is coming up on this beautiful October day. You have a lot of really great tips for us because people might have a gas, charcoal, all different kinds of grills, but right. we're using gas today. So what are some tips? I'm going to come around this way no so problem. I can kind of see what you're working with. So we've got a few things started, but basically if we were doing this from scratch, uh, before we fired up the grill, you'd always want to make sure you clean it, okay. take like a raw onion and some type of... Uh, Oil, like cooking oil, cooking oil, yeah, um, olive oil, whatever you like, and just give it a nice little scrub. It seasons it, and it stops your burgers and whatnot from sticking, which I is which is hard, yeah. And it so gives it a nice little oniony flavor. Do too. you do that when you're done grilling as well to get any of that off, or if this is just typically right before? Right before, you could do it after too, but uh, definitely right before. Okay. So once you get that done, I love the onion you, trick. Yeah, right. It's a great trick. It's a secret I learned from my mom. Ah! Oh, we love mom's tricks there in the kitchen go. and in the grill. You've got different zones on this grill. Okay. Um, once you learn like what's hot and what's cold, you can use like a, a cool zone versus a really hot zone for your okay. food. Um, we put the chicken on. You let it go. You pretty much, you know, just make sure it doesn't burn. One right. super duper trick is this little wood box. Okay. Um, as some people might know, you don't get a lot of wood flavor from a gas grill because there's no right, wood. you don't. So with this bad boy, if I don't burn myself, Ooh. put a couple wood chips in there and when this thing is closed, it's going to kind of give that smoky. Exactly. It's going to give you an uh, infusion of that wood cherry, like you're cooking with a wood grill. Yeah. So, so you get the best of both worlds. Ooh, we love it. Do you, do you wood chips you can probably pick up where? Anywhere, any, every gas any, station. Do you, have, do you have one that you particularly like? I like a hickory and a cherry mix. Ooh. Right? So, and that'll just give you, if you have a big enough grill, that'll okay. give you the nice seasoning we talked about. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, people, this top rack that I have some stuff on here that we okay. cooked a little bit earlier. Yeah. It's actually, when this door is closed, it's still going to cook. Okay. So, it's like a dripping tray, a dripping rack. Um, that way, if something gets a little hot, you just take it and you kind just move it up there. Move it up there. Right. And you can rotate if this thing was full of steaks and whatnot. You could just find your hot zone and the move hot. the stuff from the hot zone. That's what we exactly. call it. Put it on the back burner. The back. Is that where it came from? Very good. You just put it, kind of, just leave it there. Exactly. Because we're just letting it sit for a minute. Put it on the back burner. Put it on the back burner. But the cool zone. You got to find cool it because it might be different on every grill. And one awesome thing, they have this little thermometer on the top. Right. That's going to read the temperature on that rack, on that back the burner. The back burner. On the back burner, okay. yeah. As opposed to the bottom. So understand that if it says... 300 degrees or 250 that's mm -hmm. going to be at the coolest spot up there mm -hmm. so the stuff on the bottom if it's thin or if it's you know almost done you want right. to be aware kind of kind of switch it around exactly these are some really great tips i see yeah. we've got a couple things going on the grill this morning so yeah some chicken some, yeah some chicken strips yeah what we did uh what you got i brought up there, this Bill? this takes a little longer this is pulled pork that cooks like eight hours on a different type of grill and some turkey i brought this morning just to give you a, an idea of what you know you can do so you throw a little sauce on there if you're out at the tailgate or you're pre-gaming and you know you just make it happen okay so the the pulled pork because a lot of people do that in a smoker can you still do that on a grill for smoker sm that's we just got to right. do that in a smoker. you would take if you tried to do this on this you would want to have uh that on that cooler section okay and then have the far end turned on mm -hmm. uh with some wood chips it'd be a lot of work just yeah. come see me and that's what i'm going to say you know what <laughs> i'm watching this and i'm watching you cook and i'm going this is just better if you do it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you know I'll put in the expertise and you can just present it, you know, like you've been slaving away all morning. I know that. So here's, the, that's the secret is that you're kind of the secret for right. us hey. because we can be able to order things. You mm -hmm. know, when you talk a little bit about how you're going to take some of that guesswork out when we're coming, whether it's just for a meal, right? feeding a crowd. What does that look like over at Bill's? Gotcha. So we're a third generation family owned business. Love that. Uh, we'll come out, we'll deliver, uh, we'll set up your, you know, your spread for you. We can do it however you want and customize mm -hmm. it. Uh, our website, Bill's Barbecue, yep. uh, or you can give us a call. Uh, myself and one of my boys are mm -hmm. always in charge of the catering, so we'll make sure we take care of you. Yeah, third generation. Yeah. We love that. So what are some of those favorite menu items as we're coming in? You know, we're in the middle of that tailgate season. Right on. Those holidays are coming up. Sure, sure. What, I mean, that pulled pork. This right here, I think you're going to need all of this. <laughs> at home. But what do people time and time again order when they're when they're feeding right. those people that they love the most? So our most popular item is the pulled pork. Of uh, course it is. Not far behind it is our uh, brisket. We smoked that for uh, for about 12 hours, and uh, we have some awesome sides, macaroni and cheese, three cheese macaroni and cheese, uh, baked beans. It's coming chili season. We do a brisket chili. So, 
Yeah, exactly. It's chili season. Exactly. It's chili, chili oh, season. Oh, we, we've got all this. Okay, I want a couple more grilling tips, though, because sure. the number one grilling tip is just order from Bill's. <laughs> right. That's number one. Take the guesswork out of it, because that's easy easy for me, and I'm going, I don't even need to know what's on the back There you go, right. The hot zone, don't need to know about this thermometer. I'm just picking up the phone or going to the website. Exactly. But chicken here, okay, mm -hmm. you've got, you're wearing a thermometer. Right, right. Tell us a little bit about when you're cooking chicken, because that can go... You don't want to be too right. too tough or not undercooked. I feel like that has the most. You want to make sure you get like. it. You want to make sure you get it to 165, 170 degrees with the internal temperature. Mm -hmm. So you want a, a probe thermometer. Yeah, look. Let's look what you got here. You got the tips and tricks. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go for it. We might as well go for it. Right there, you go. <laughs> so you just pop her in there, uh, let it read, and okay. if it's not 160, 65, it still needs probably another 20, 30 minutes to go. Okay, right. and I'm seeing that you have some really great char marks on these. How can you ensure that you're getting that crisp on the outside? It's kind of cooked in the middle without going to that, you know, right. you want to put on that the back. far extreme. Yeah, I don't want to say tough and chewy because that's not, right. but it can go there too fast, Phil. That's next level barbecue. Oh no, that's this what is we pick up the phone. Barbecue. There Chloe. you go, right. Also, this one looks like it's got a little love on it. Do there you, you go. Do you marinate before, do you after? What are some, um, what do you like so it doesn't stick? We already got the onion right. trick. So the marinade, the most important thing with the marinade is to know that if you marinate a thinner meat it's for two to four hours, a thicker steak is gonna be more like eight hours. So we gotta sleep on that. Right, before you put it on the grill though, it's important you pat it dry. The you steaks, don't, okay. The steaks or anything that's marinated. And, Oh, okay, yeah. good. So you want to pat it dry. Where that stick comes from if you don't, that and then you're too. peeling it off. And it'll drip, and it'll cause maybe a flame. And if you're not really watching it, yep. you're gonna have a, you're gonna end up calling me. You, <laughs> as you can tell, it sounds like I've had a lot of mishaps on the grill because I've just gone through of every disaster that right. probably has happened to me. Mm -hmm. The sticking, the making sure that it's not too undercooked right. or overcooked. Right, right. Got to have the sauce. I'm sure you have a lot of different family recipes and sauce. We, we have a tried and true, but what are some other, do you have right. hot? Do you so have- So actually we're com we have a, a Swayze coming out. So it's sweet and spicy. Okay. As a, as a, as a distance okay. for a regular sauce, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have an apple infused sauce also. Oh, we love that. So, so we're also, we're going to get excited about a couple new locations. Yeah, we, we we're have- We're not going to give it all away, Bill. We have two locations in the works. Uh, both in Michigan, one north of the border mm -hmm. and one south of the border. So we're excited about that. We love that. We mean the, just the border of Michigan. So right, we can right, get right. to either one of them. Exactly. Right. Well, exactly. Bill, these are really great tips as we're heading into some of these cooler temperatures. Of course, the best tip is just to give Bill a call. Make sure that you're feeding your family and your loved ones with the help of Bill's Barbecue. So they're location right now is located in Elkhart on Benham Avenue. You've probably passed it a thousand times. That's Bill. Give him a call. 574-296-8050. Check out Bill's Barbecue, Elkhart.com. More